here comes our crew from a wonderful day out on the water heading toward the boat ramp and welcome back guys to the greatest show on earth and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host Broncos Guru and today we are down here visiting Boynton Beach. So our crew's lining it up. Let's see how Captain does as he comes in on approach. Looks pretty good so far. Taking the slow roll approach. Gotta love that around the dock. And it looks like he's got a couple people right here on the side of the boat ready to help. And our guy jumps off. But he jumps off with no lines and kicks the boat out. So it's drifting away from the dock now. So Cap's trying to bring it back around. They get a line handed to our guy. And he's trying to pull it over. But man, he hits it the wrong way. Cap put it into forward gear, and all of a sudden, he's pulling away from the dock. Our guy's still got the line, though. <laughs> I'm not sure what they're going to do here. He's going to need to pull it back up, but they need to get need to get a line on the mid cleat to try and make this one a little easier. And they take the line away from Homeboy, and they're going to try and reline this one up again. So Cap didn't like it, and I always recommend this one, actually. If you get yourself in a spot you don't like when you're approaching the ramp... Go ahead and back all the way out and reset yourself completely. Sometimes it's just a whole lot easier, as we've talked about in the past, to reset yourself, take a whole new approach angle than it is to try and fix yourself from an awkward spot. So this time they look pretty good. Our guy on the dock's got a line, and our guy in the stern goes for the toss, misses with the first one, misses with the second toss. Third toss, it looks like, is not a whole lot better, but I can't tell from here. There you go. He got it caught. And it took this crew some real effort to get this one brought over. But it looks like they should be good to roll from here. So mom is coming around the corner and going to approach the trailer, which is already there. So she's just got to put it on. And our Tahoe is going to come in on approach as well. Got his engine trimmed awfully high out of the water. It's a little shallow right now, but I probably trim this back down a little bit because he's going to lose some grip if he's got to stop quickly for some reason. So mom looks pretty good. And oh, yep. Our guy was hitting the throttle, trying to reverse, and all of a sudden, <laughs> things got a little out of whack, and we were following the wrong boat for sure. But again, I mean, they've got this so far trimmed out of the water, they just didn't have a whole lot of traction with the prop. And so, our guy dropped his buddy off at the dock, and his buddies went to go get the truck. And he's just been sitting out here waiting so he can go ahead and load the boat onto the trailer. And this is his buddy backing down the dock here, but there's a jet ski on the dock he's trying to back down. And see, I don't know if this lady's going to move for him or not. It's hard to tell... I mean, he probably can move a little further over to the right and get around the jet ski. He's not a terrible spot there. Just going to be a little tight on the boat coming in. Oh, and that's the lady yelling at the guy in the truck, telling him to stop. And our crew right here has got front row seats to the action that's about to unfold. So our guy in the boat's telling his buddy, keep bringing it back down. He knows the same thing that I know right now. If he gets it in the water, they're going to be loaded and gone before this lady's husband gets back with the truck. But no, nope, she's walking up. She's going to say something to him. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, she's not moving, not budging. When the reality is, is this crew was here first. The only reason she's even on that dock is because he didn't take it. He dropped his buddy off so they could go get the truck and do this. 
and she is raising just being a Karen about it. I hate to say that, but the reality is, is that your guy is not down here with the trailer. Move the jet ski back. Let these guys unload. And, ah. Uh, Look at this. So here comes the jet ski trailer with the truck back up top here as well. But once again, I just find this one. The reason I find it so amusing is the only reason she's even on this dock is because they didn't take it. So I'm not going to lie. The guy in the boat and his buddy on the driving the truck are a whole lot nicer than I am. They're pulling out and they're going to let the guy come pull down here and pull the jet ski out. I wouldn't have done it. Just being honest, and that's just me. And I'm actually a pretty relaxed, chill person when it comes to this kind of stuff. But I would have kept backing down and not even listened to her when she was trying to stop me. My buddy would have been on the trailer already, and we'd have been taking off well before <laughs> her guy even got back down here. But no, we had to stop all the action because she felt like they deserved that ramp. I understand she's on the dock there, but again, as I've mentioned multiple times now, the only reason they're on that dock is because those guys didn't take it. So this is where the confusion often comes down here, especially at Boynton, because we actually see a lot of this down here. We wind up seeing multiple people get into fights and arguments over ramps down here. And the reason is, is because there's a courtesy dock over to the left. So some people will pull over to that courtesy dock, which is what they're supposed to do, go get their truck. And then when they come back down, there's people on all the docks, as you see, and they don't have anywhere to pull the truck. And then you see arguments like this when the reality is, is the boat, this is not a boat jet ski thing. That boat was there first. I'm just telling you now he was there first and had every right to the right away on that one. But it's always, that's where things always get tough when there's a courtesy dock. And it always makes me cautious to even use courtesy docks anymore, just because you know, you're going to wind up in an argument or a fight down there about trying to get your boat back out. Want to talk about confidence? My man just trims the motor all the way out, turns it off. Like, I've got it lined up so good, I don't need to do squat, but just let this thing float on in. That's, you want to talk about docking like a boss? My man just docked like a boss right there. So our crew's about to take off. We've got puppy up front, puppy on the stern. And wife at the helm. And our guy, it looks like he's going to move up front to hang out with the dog. Not always get nervous even when I see humans do stuff like this. When I see a dog, it even makes it worse. I mean, all it takes is something to go wrong and they've got to hit the throttle real quick. And the next thing we know, puppies in the water. But they each their own, but it looks like our crew's good to roll and they're about to get out of here. And speaking of getting out of here, we're going to go ahead and get out of here as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at the inlets. My channel, Broncos Guru, do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we got Boats vs. Haulover, where Man and Machine take on Mother Nature down at Haulover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.